There are three things I look for in a headlamp. The first is reasonable levels of illumination. The next is good long run times. And the third is light weight. And it's pretty much impossible to find all three. However, I think I have found a headlamp that does a good job of balancing those. And that is the Nightcore NU43. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. Just before we begin, I would like to thank the company Flashlight to Go for sending me this light so that I could share it with you. All right, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this light. I'll go over its physical and performance specifications. I'll go over its modes of operation. Then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. Just before we take a closer look at the Nightcore NU43 headlamp, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So this is the box the light arrived in. It did come with an operating manual and warranty information and a USB Type-C charging cable. Let's bring the light back in. Now, as far as key features for this light, it has some very interesting ones, including the claim from Nikkor that this is the world's lightest flash headlamp featuring an 18650 battery. It does have two white LEDs, one of flood and the other a spot, and they work together to create an integrated clear beam. It does have a red LED as well. It has ultra low standby power consumption, a good feature. It has a rotating cover at this end for the USB-C charging port. It has an elasticized perforated headband with reflective accents. I'll talk more about that in a few moments' time. Very interesting feature is that it has a proximity sensor, and what that does is, is when the light gets too close to an object, it'll take down the lumen settings from whatever it is too low. And this is intended as a safety feature to prevent overheating. It will also function while it's plugged in to a charging battery. As far as physical specifications, the length in this direction is 3.14 inches or 79.8 millimeters. The height in this direction is 1.81 inches, which is 46.1 millimeters. And from front to back, it is 1.73 inches, which is 43.9 millimeters. It is made from a combination of aluminum and polycarbonate, which together give it a weight of 4.09 ounces or 116 grams. Yes, that is very light for a, a flashlight with an 18650 battery. It does have a water resistance rating of IP68 and a drop resistance rating of 2 meters. As far as performance specifications, the NU43 tops up at turbo at 1400 lumens. Nikkor does not provide how long it will run at that lumen setting though, but it does state it has a beam cast of 130 meters. It has a high setting of 600 lumens, which will last for 10 hours with a beam cast of 77 meters. It has a medium setting of 300 lumens, which will last for 15 hours and a beam cast of 53 meters. It has a low setting of 100 lumens which will last for 29 hours and a beam cast of 30 meters and it has an ultra low setting of 8 lumens which will last for 165 hours and has a beam cast of 8 meters. It does also have a strobe and an SOS mode both at 1400 lumens. And as I mentioned, it does have a red light LED, which will work in a constant on or a beacon flash. It has a constant uh, a lumen setting of 10 lumens, and if left on in constant mode, will last for 66 hours, and if it's put in beacon mode, will last for 90 hours. It takes approximately two hours to fully charge the battery from zero. The operation of the NU43 is accomplished through these two buttons on top of the headlamp. On my right is the power button and on my left is the mode button. To turn the light on, long press the power button. With the light on, if I short press the power button, I'll toggle between low, medium and high. Long press to turn the light off again. There is no memory for the last lumen setting. With the light off, if I quick double press the power button, it'll activate ultra low turn the light off again. With the light on, if I double press the power button, it'll activate turbo, turn the light off again. 
At any point while the light is on, if I press the mode button, it'll activate the red LED. And to toggle between constant on and beacon, quick press the power button. Again, long press to turn the light off. If I want to access the SOS or the beacon, I start by double pressing the mode button while the light is off. And to toggle between SOS and a steady beacon, quick press the power button. And long press to turn it off. There is an electronic lockout on this light, which is, act, is a good feature, and to activate it, press both buttons at the, long uh, at the same time until it flashes. And that tells me that the light is now locked out, and if I press the power button, all I get is that quick flash to show me that it is locked out. To unlock the light, again, double or press both buttons simultaneously until the light comes on, and now you're ready to operate it. There is another feature of this light that will help lock it out, and that is rotating the headlamp itself upwards until the buttons are protected by the frame against accidentally turning it on. As far as charging the flashlight goes, as I mentioned, rotate the port to expose the USB Type-C charging uh, port, and the uh, full charge will, uh, will occur in about two hours. If you want to know how much power you have left in your battery, you would press the mode button while the light is off, a short press, and four LEDs on the bottom will light up, indicating how much power you have left. Now the last feature on the operation of the NU43 that I want to show you is that uh, proximity sensor. So let me turn the light on. I'll toggle it up to high. And if I run my hand in front of it, you'll see that the light dims down to low. And again, the intent is that is if you somehow laid this down on an article of clothing or something else that is combustible, it may overheat and could potentially start a fire or at least damage your headlamp. So that helps to keep that from happening. Having gone over the physical and performance specifications as well as the modes of operations for the NU43, there's only one thing left to do. Let's get outside and do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing of the Nightcore NU43 headlamp. I'll start it off on ultra low. Now for me, I can see immediately around my area, around my feet, but I don't think it's shown on the camera. Let's take it to low. And with low, you're capturing the edge of the neighbor's home about 40, 50 feet away, medium. Further illuminates the neighbor's home. All right, light focus. Starts to pick up the garage of the neighbor two doors up high now that's doing a good job of illuminating all of my backyard the neighbor's backyard and up to where the third house is and what i like about this is that the light is an integrated spot and flood i'm not seeing any difference between the two just enough wide spot or wide flood with forward throw of the spot now let's just take it up to turbo there we go and on turbo it's illuminating the yard completely very nice. All right, let's see if we can wrap this video up with a few closing comments for the Nightcore NU43 rechargeable headlamp. So what do I really like about this light? Right off of the top, it's weight coming in at just over four ounces. And while I can't prove that it is the world's lightest 18650 equipped headlamp, I can say it's the lightest in my collection. What else do I like? I like the medium setting of 300 lumens. I like that because it is the best balance for all the tasks I want to do around the campsite and still have good long run times, 15 hours. That's not insignificant. I do also like the ultra low setting of eight lumens. I find it's a good amount of light for sitting and reading with and has even longer run times. I like the turbo, but I don't think I'll be using 1400 lumens all that often. Nice to have it when you really need to see what's out there, but it does run the battery down a little bit quicker. I like that it has the red LED. It is a good way or the best way of preserving your night vision, especially inside of the tent. I do like the headband on this. It is wide, adjustable, and very comfortable. Yeah, it's just a good headband for the purpose. 
All right, are there any downsides to this? Well, yeah, there is two that I can think of. Number one is, and I think most people will agree, the fact that you cannot access the 18650 battery is a bit of a con. Now, the other con may be my personal opinion only, and it may just be the way I try to operate this. But I find that double tapping the power button while the light is off to access ultra low, you have to be quick, very quick, in fact. If you hesitate at all, it just won't turn the light on. It may be me, it may be this unit, it's hard to tell. Small thing for sure. There is one other feature of this light that I'm not sure how I feel about that, and that is the proximity sensor. I think it's a good safety feature. I don't know how often it'll come into play, but having it is a plus. Not having it wouldn't have deterred me from buying this lamp if I were to purchase it. Yeah, overall, this light has a lot of really good features for it, and I do like the fact in the claim that it is such a lightweight light having good long run times and reasonable amounts of illumination. Okay, that's all the information I have for you today. I will be putting everything I've given you in the video description below, as well as the links to where you can purchase this light from Flashlights to Go. And Flashlights to Go has also offered a 10% discount, and I'll provide that code in the video description if you would like to use it. If you have any comments or questions regarding this light, please put them in the comments section. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.